Hi guys, it's Sarah of Cuteberry Charms. This is going to be another charm update because I haven't done like a general charm update in quite a while so um, I have so many things to show you so this could turn out to be a really really long video. It's going to be an absolutely huge charm update um, so I'm just going to get straight into it and I hope you enjoy it. First I have some back to school things and the first uh, are these notebooks which I have a tutorial on and they have got actual paper inside them. I will leave the link to the tutorial in the description. Then I have these two backpacks. This is one that I made first as a practice and this is one that I made for a tutorial and I will put the link to that in the description. Then I have this nerdy book charm and I have a tutorial on this too. Then I have these two crayon packs and I wasn't really sure if I was happy with either of these, I did film a tutorial on them, but I'm filming this in August, so this will this video will actually be posted a lot later on, so I don't know whether I'll choose to actually make a tutorial for this or not, but yeah, they are two different kinds of crayon packs that I did. And finally, for the back to school things that I've done at this point, I have these little penguins, which I don't have a tutorial on, but um, I have them for sale. We've got a little backpack, and a hat, and a bow tie. They are part of my patchwork pals, and I had four of those. Next I have this little dino chibi girl based on a drawing tutorial I did, and I did actually film a tutorial on this, but um, I wasn't sure if I liked how she turned out, so I won't have made that tutorial yet, but if you guys think this is cute and you want to see how to make it, let me know in the comments and I will make an actual tutorial on it. Then I have this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, it is Michelangelo, and I have a tutorial on this little guy too. Then I have a whole load of Shy Guy charms, which again I have a tutorial on. And some are standing and some are sitting. Then I just have these four really simple lollipops. I was thinking of selling them, but I wasn't that happy with them, so yeah, I probably won't be selling these, but they're just lollipops and they've got bow ties. Then I also have all these lollipops as well, they're actually flat back ones instead of being totally round. So that's what they look like. Then I have these two flat back scrumps, which are a custom order for someone and they're um, like cabochons to go on a phone case. Then I have this custom mermaid that I made for someone and I really liked how she turned out. Then I have this sort of crochet styled bear which I made for a trade with Heart Sprinkle. I think by the time I post this video um, I will already hopefully have done my trade video with her so um, hopefully she won't see these before she actually receives the package. So yeah this is based on one of her teddies that she actually makes but this is obviously made out of polymer clay. Then also for Heart Sprinkle I have this Owl, which again is in all of her colours and it has a mirror in the back. Then I also have this custom Patchwork Pals dragon, again in Heart Sprinkles colours. And there will be more things that I'm sending to her as well, um, but if you're interested in seeing the rest of those I will leave the links to both of our videos there. So that is what that one looks like. Then I have these dinosaur charms which I made a while ago now, so I'll just show you them separately. I have this green one, this pink one, this purple one, and this blue one. They are all in my patchwork pal style as well, but I have now remade some new kind of versions of those. Next I have this figurine which I was so happy with how it came out. It's just basically like a little fairy village and on the back it's got windows and they glow in the dark so it looks like the lights are on at night. So that is what that one looks like. And then based on that figurine I also made all these individual charms and I really like how they came out. They're all available on my shop. Then I have these kitty lollies which are based on my cat food drawing. Then I have these three different cat ice creams, again based on my cat food drawing. There's a mint one, a strawberry one, and a chocolate one. 
And I also have a cat cupcake, again based on my drawing. And I'm going to be making more of these and selling them. Then I have these two waffle charms, um, a cat one and a normal one. Again, this is um, from my cat food drawing, both available in my shop. Then I have some more cupcakes, and these are both really simple ones, they've just got pink icing. But on the cases I've um, made them a bit different, so I've got this stripy one and this spotty one, which also I will be stocking sometime soon in my shop. And I just have this chocolate one which has got a spotty case as well and it's got micro marbles on the top of it. Then I have this Totoro cupcake which I made a really long time ago and I'm actually going to remake this really soon. And I might make a tutorial on this as well so let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing that. Then I have this Pikachu cupcake and it's got uh, like chocolate sauce on the tips of the ears and the tail. Again, I might make a tutorial on this, so let me know if you are interested. Finally, for cupcakes, I have this Fin Cake, which is from Adventure Time. Also available in my shop. Then, staying with the Adventure Time theme, I have this Princess Bubblegum Charm. And it's totally different from the normal kind of chibis that I did, but I was trying to do some different kind of chubby style chibis. So I don't really know if I like how this came out, but yeah, that's what that one looks like. Then I also have Marceline. I have a chubby Vimo, and I love how that one came out. I have this chubby Jake, which I also love, and was really happy with. Then my favourite of them all is this chubby Finn. I love this, that's why it's on a necklace, because I've been wearing it. Is what that one looks like. Then I have this Zelda charm, which I did make a tutorial on, but it went all wrong, so I will have to refilm that if you guys are interested in seeing that. I just have this Best Teacher chalkboard that I made for the end of school in July or whenever. I have these two robots based on one of my drawings that I did ages ago now. I have this cat alien, so it's basically an alien in a cat costume, which is again based on one of my drawings, with the theory that all cats are in fact aliens. So that is that one. I have a chubby Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas, and I have this working Rillacuma which I made around Father's Day. So it's got a hat, it's got a tie and like a collar, and it's got a little uh, briefcase as well. I love how that came out. I have this little onigiri. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah. I love how that came out. I also have this sushi roll, which is really tiny. Now I'm just moving on to patchwork pearls, which I'm making an entire series of. These first four that I'm gonna show are the sort of second version of them, but I'm not, these aren't the actual ones that are going to be in the collection now, but I will be selling these just as a flash sale at a discounted price, just so that they can get homes. But yeah, these aren't the actual ones, so this is my monkey charm. Then I have this penguin charm. Got a little bow tie. I have this cow. And finally I have this lion. And I made these all in probably about May or June time. So like I say, I've improved them again now and I'm doing them all differently again. So these are two of the new and improved versions of Patrick Pals. They are both kitties, I have a mint one and a pink one. And now all of my Patchwork Pals are going to have these little hearts which are also got, uh, which have also got a stitched effect on it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And they've got blush and then they're stitched up the sides as well on their arms and legs and even their ears. So that is the two cat ones that I've done so far. Then I have this purple teddy, which again is the same kind of thing. I have this turtle. This giraffe. Then I have this dinosaur. And I love how he turned out. Again, he is a Patchwork Pals style charm. Then I am doing elemental dragons. So I have this earth dragon, this air dragon, and 
finally, I have this fire dragon, and I am also going to be doing water dragons, but I just haven't got around to those yet. So that is everything for this massive charm update. I know this video is probably going to be about 20 minutes long, so I'm really sorry about that, but I hope that you would enjoy seeing everything I've made up over the last few months. And um, just a quick update on the patchwork pals. When I've got more of those made, I'm going to make a new video, a video just entirely on those so that you can see them all in more detail and I will sort of show the adoption certificates that you get with them as well. I'm going to release them all in one massive go so they probably won't actually be released until around Christmas time because they're taking me a really long time to make. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys will like them. Um, and I think that's everything I have to say on them right now, so if you're interested in any of the tutorials that I mentioned, I will leave the links to all of those in the description, so just look there. And I hope that you have enjoyed this massive, very long charm update, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!